actually it's disrespectful to dunk on people. They started to Americanize them and change that around. So here we go. The Rockets control it. They'll have to begin the fourth quarter as well. It gets loud. This young man's played everywhere. Hawkins, their lead guard. Again, Yao tries to go up and under David. Takes the bump and finishes strong. Posting up David. He walked with it. And he gets the foul. Now, yeah, little by little, it's going to improve in that area for him. They call the foul on David Robinson, but he's going to start banging it around, mixing it up more. Well, you know, he, he really lost his balance on the play. He made a spin move, then he lost his balance, threw the ball up there, but with his size, he was able to get it in a deep position and goes up there strong and gets a good finish. You know, when you're 7'6", tiptoes enough. Exactly. <laughs> So Yao Ming trying to give the Rockets the lead by a point. The Rockets' first trip to the free throw line. And we talked about the young man in the opening 12. There's a tough matchup for Tony Parker. Franchise. And Yao Ming cleans up. Oh, that was a Four on 7 of 11 from the field. Francis. Pretty good luck. And Yao Ming got inside. It's fouled by David. He slipped right around David on that one. Yeah, David fell asleep there. I mean, he's going to the offensive boards. You've got to make sure you put a body on him because at 7-6, just like the last play down, when he just tips the ball up, he's got those soft hands. Good things happen. David just watched the fight of the ball, and Yao slips inside of him, and David has no recourse but to foul him. So Yao going to the free throw line for two. They're starting to figure that out, and that spells trouble for the rest of the league because at the rate that he makes shots, uh, that, that's going to be a problem. Yao, he's been in and out of their lineup last year. He was hurt most of the year. And Yao. Showed his soft hands dunk. right there. It's allowed. Good luck, Steve Smith. Great find by Steve. Baseline drive and a baseline drift by Parker. Got him a wide open shot. The second quarter. Spurs still down by three. Coming back with the same look right here. Oh, nice play. And communication. Yao, they saw it on the other side of the floor. Yao and Francis started that one early. Absolutely. They had, they had good eye vision right there. It was nice set up and soft pass. And great catch and finish by Yao. And Eddie Griffin averaging a block and a half a game. Coming up with the block of Tim Duncan. Rockets have the bow. Eddie Griffin, the in-between game. Yao, keeping it alive for another offensive opportunity. Okay, well, that's some improvement right there. You saw him pursue the basketball a couple times tonight. In the past, he's really been only rebounding in his area. Tonight, he's gone away from his spot and, and created some extra real estate. Already a double-double. Running without the ball. What a pass by Yao to Mucci. Yao posting up tip. Too much. 13 and 10 are. It wasn't as comfortable a shot for him. Long rebound for Eddie Griffin. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I couldn't see it at all myself. Bewildered look for Pop. Well, Yao all over the place. That was a strong, well, he's searching, but as uh, more guys respect, they respond, he's going to find it, he'll figure it out. Yao. That is sick. Yeah, when he's got that kind of touch, I mean, Lexi Parker on a high pick and roll works with Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan had to take advantage of Mo Taylor, who had his back to the ball. I've had a good look. But now Yao with Tim, not David. And Tim goes strong against Yao, who blocks it. Holding his ground and not reaching, and just at 7 6, he's a, a formal opponent. Len Rice, Yao batted it out. Second chance opportunity, yes, for Rice and Francis. Too good a look. Not blocked by, by Yao Ming. Finished strong. David moving his feet. Didn't make any difference. Do you believe wow. the big guy in the air catches and shoots? What an adjustment right there. I mean, and Yao Ming up off the floor. Second foul on Yao. Three-point play, not accomplished, but it goes right back to Tim. Over to David, and it's blocked away as David lost the handle. He runs. Yao. He's got the position, and he's got the top. Roll for the Spurs. Parker for a deuce. Willis kept it alive, but Yao comes away with it. Now he needs to complete the three-point opportunity. 
That was a line drive that time by Tim. It gets, as you said, it gets between your ears. Four well, free throws short on the line, you'd be thinking he's going to miss it. Over the top, Tim, David, contact was there. He's bumped out of the play, and now a loose ball foul called on Tim Duncan. Unbelievable. He's 21 and 15. It's a little different time in the game right now. You may see him cough one up. Yeah, but he's so young. I'm sorry. <laughs> and maybe he doesn't understand. <laughs> He's four for four at the free throw line. As the Spurs are down by six, he can make it seven. And that is the biggest lead in the fourth quarter. Got a piece of the ball. Francis with the left hand. Timeout Spurs. Again, you know, Yao comes in following the play, and he's not blocked off, off the rim, and just comes up and flushes this one. Yao close to a 20, 20 night. He's got 25 points, 17 rebounds. It was again a penetration by Steve Francis. David Robinson's in the play, and he gets caught just looking, peeking on the play. He's not there as a helping position. Yao just runs right around him, flushes it down. It comes at the wrong time. Kevin Willis using the basket, doesn't get the roll. It's been that way for the Spurs the entire fourth quarter. It'll be a quick grab. Rockets 89, Spurs 75.